sit down, rest your feet, and enjoy a short introduction about how to supercharge your machining capabilities and why we need it. So we are here on the Emo Show, clearly structured on that booth in two lines. On the one side, to your left, we make parts. On the right side, we make machines. So machines that make parts in a completely pull-through digital value chain. So what does that have to do with us here in manufacturing? For sure, we do have one point between product design and services. It's called production engineering. This is where your capabilities come to life, where you decide, how do I make my part? You have done that for many, many years. You know that guy, he's sitting there in a, a little computer room. Maybe they called it the cam room or production planning room. And he's programming parts. <clears throat> Now, with our latest NX11 technologies, for sure, we have added functionality, but that is not enough. That is not enough that we have programming automation and convergent modeling and all these nice features. It is not enough because digitalization changes everything. You have experienced that every, every one of you in your personal life. You have your cell phones and our processes, the speed, flexibility, quality, and the efficiency, how we live our daily lives, has dramatically changed in the last 10 and uh, 15 years uh, since we have these so-called smartphones. Things that you went to in a department store to buy something, you're now ordering it online, and if you don't like it, you return it online, and your printer prints out your return ticket. You just drop it at your local mail office. Within minutes, everything has changed. And we see this trend coming strongly also into manufacturing facilities. Not only to the big guys, yeah, the big automotive industries, also in job shops. This is why we developed the digital value chain that will enable you to become more fast. How you get your designs, how you program your machine to get more flexible, to consider and mitigate last-minute changes, how you, how you handle that, how you can do that in a digital workflow, how you increase your quality by adding production manufacturing information right from the beginning to the design, and last not least, um, increase your efficiency. If things are faster and more professional, you will gain efficiency. And why do we all do that? Because digitalization changes everything. You will be not part of this ecosystem anymore in the future if we don't comprehend and embrace this trend. I brought three examples how we supercharge manufacturing and machining capabilities here on the Siemens booth. First of all, we see Siemens, uh, CNC machining, classical machining, but we have added a lot of technologies how to better fit into a digital value chain and how to better exchange information with your machine and you with, uh, with your controller. The second example is robotic manufacturing. Well, some of you may complain and object. Well, uh, robotics, we have done that in machine tools for the last 25, 30 years. We are not talking about handling and loading and unloading of a robot and a machine tool here. We are talking about robotic machining. With our new technology both on the CNC controller with Cinomeric Run My Robots and on the CAM programming area with uh, NX um, robotic programming, we have enabled you now to handle a robot just like a CNC machine. You can programming using your CNC cycles just as you would do on your um, Hedelius Acura machine over there. Same in NX, you can program your robot in a pocket cycle and uh, drill a hole and cut a thread just if it were nothing. There's no difference. A huge difference in education and training needs, uh, capabilities and accessibility for this robot. So, that robot is not just taken and picked in place in a part. It is active part of your machining process now because it does deburring, it does linishing, it does drill a hole on the backside of your plate where you wouldn't reach with your, uh, with your CNC machine. And last not least, additive manufacturing. That now changes really everything. 
We've brought several examples in a traditional mold shop that you see on that line here on your, on your left. How to introduce and embrace additive technologies step by step. How can you get more advanced? We introduced conformal cooling here into a traditional um, mold insert, like we are using that for the quadrocopter, which, yeah, productivity of your injection molding process uh, significantly improves. Shorter cooling times, less warping and deformation of your part, easier unmolding, but that needs additive technologies. You can't do it without. You can't wrap a cooling line close to your conjure yeah, with a drill. Drill is straight, right? You can shoot a hole through that straight. That's it. So with that, reduce time to market with a digitalized process and expand your business embracing new technologies with a digitalized process supported by Siemens products and solutions. With that, I would invite you to have a closer look to all of these solutions. Come visit the um, specific engineer. CAM solutions are right here in the beginning. Additive is over there next to the machine. And on the back side of the machine, Sebastian Szymanski is there and would love to tell you everybody everything about um, how to bring more productivity out of your robot by introducing robotic manufacturing. With that, thank you everybody and uh, thank you for your attention.